Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Syahdan Hakimi bin Musli. My metric number is 50209. Today, I'm going to talk about the FedEx Corporations. FedEx Corporation is a provider of the transportation and also e-commerce and also a business service. This company is offer uh, such as a time assistant delivery service, international trade service, install service, online service, and also a business solutions. FedEx has a six core of business. The first is about FedEx Express, FedEx Smart Post, FedEx Ground, FedEx Fried, FedEx Custom Critical, and for the last is about the FedEx Office. Okay, for the last is about the Porter Five Forks. Porter Five Fork in the FedEx Corporation has a five. The first is about a risk of the new entry by potential competitor. The barrier to entry are very high. One of the reasons of for the higher entry barrier is the higher fixed cost associated with establishing the international transportation network. Second is about the extent of the rivalry between established firms. Established player in the shipping service industry compete regularly for a market share as demonstrated by the constant battle between FedEx and also UPS. The company that responds first to the constant changing environment firms. The third is about the bargaining power of the buyer. The bargaining power of the large buyer in the shipping service industry is higher. Therefore, buyer can turn to a shipping provider that offer faster service, lower price, or service innovation with ease. Hence, beginning a power of the supplier. The supplier power within this industry is fairly low. The large shipping service provider can affect the price of the supply, such as like a packaging material. This is a big of the buy in the large quantity and can turn to this, this different supplier easily. The, for the last uh, element in the uh, foster fault is the trait of the substitute product. Okay, there are not many substitute for the shippings. It is because a shipping service are very similar to commodity. Is that it's not easily replaced with another service or even a similar service. Thank you for me. The next one is how FedEx strategy in facing the industry. So the first strategy of FedEx is FedEx Express and FedEx Grounds are providing the bulk of the bulk of the business company businesses. They were suggesting excellent services to anyone who needs to deliver letters, document and package. So the package, letters and document are flown to one of the companies company distribution hubs for sort for sorting. Then they were passed to the airport nearest the destination. Then the package is then trucked to another to another FedEx office where a courier pick it up and hand deliver to the exact recipient. So all of this process just take place overnight where FedEx confirmed that roughly 99% of the delivery is being delivered before 8am the next day. So another strategy is that FedEx offers a wealth of electronic tools, application and online interfaces for patrons to integrate into their process to shorten the interval, reduce inventory costs, generate better returns, and simplify the shipping. So, FedEx has created FedEx Insights, which is the first web-based application to supply proactive real-time state information, build time status information on inbound, outbound, and the third-party shipment. So, this strategy is very good for FedEx in facing the industry. 
So the next one is the company analysis. So the mission for FedEx is FedEx will produce superior financial return for share owners by providing a high value add supply chain, transportation, business, and related information services to focused operating companies. So customer requirements will be met in the highest quality manners appropriate to each market segment served. So FedEx will strive to develop mutually rewarding relationships with its employers, partners, and suppliers. Safety will be the first consideration in all operations. So the corporate activities will be conducted to the highest ethical and professional standards. Meanwhile, the FedEx vision is leading the way and their, obje their objective is the first one is to protect and respect the environment through outstanding environmental performance and efficiency in the conduct of its operation. The second one is to adapt to, to changing customer needs to ensure customer satisf satisfaction. The third one is to improve on the ability to compete collectively. The fourth one is to differentiate the company from competitors. And the, uh, the next one is to improve FedEx competitive position. And the last one is to dynamically align resources to critical priorities while improving cycle times and return on investment. Okay, I will continue to the strengths and weakness for the FedEx company. So before that, I am Muhammad Muaz bin Zaha and my metric number is S51653. And the strengths is technological capabilities, uh, service portfolio and global pre presence. And the first one, technological capabilities, FedEx have a variety of technologies that help them to transport all the customers uh, item and it it transports uh, the items about more than 100 countries so uh, they have uh, technology capabilities uh, facilitate the delivery and pick up over uh, about 14 million item per day so uh, they have uh, more experience about uh, delivery and technology to to solve the problem and the second one is service portfolio service portfolio management is like uh, a gatekeeper with the task of ensuring that only service uh, that supply value and are in line with the strategy decided are uh, provided for the business for that plan to enlarge to several part part of the FedEx uh, one of each is FedEx Express so uh, they have a professional IT organization that manage uh, the database and the last one is global presence uh, to reach the ultimate goals of increased profits and sales FedEx was bring the company into the global. Uh, FedEx provides service to roughly 200 to 20 countries. And the, this company operates in the America to Europe. Uh, so this company popular in the other countries. And the weakness for the FedEx, uh, the first one is high operating costs. Uh, normally, uh, when FedEx uh, provides for the 100 countries, so uh, they also have uh, uh, they also have uh, the cost is uh, highly. Their transportation service are very costly. Uh, FedEx need to cover these countries and make uh, make sure the items uh, will reach to the customers. And the second one is bad customer service. Of course, uh, FedEx uh, need to uh, delivery the items in good condition, right? But other than the headquarters in other countries, 
also cannot control the condition because of many uh, many items to delivery to the customers and the last one is the uh, lack of diversification one of the weakness uh, in FedEx which is lack of diversification diversification is one of the uh, most of the transportation uh, service uh, cannot to to solve this problem and until now uh, many corporations uh, have the same problems to to be into different fields and pursuits uh, so uh, it can exploit uh, by offering service uh, that FedEx uh, does not so that's all from me thank you Hi and good day to Dr. Mune and everyone. I am Tibia Sundra. My metric number is S52132. Well, I will be explaining about the external audit, which are opportunities and threats for FedEx company that we have chose. So the opportunities for FedEx are uh, international expanded, expanding Chinese market and online shopping. Whereas the threats for FedEx are economic slowdown in China, e-substitution and vulnerable to increasing reach by major competition. So basically these are the opportunities and threats that FedEx will be getting or facing uh, throughout their business. Thank you. So good morning Dr. Mune. I am Sashwin Das and today I will be presenting on section 4. First, I would like to talk about uh, the strategic formulation analytical framework. So uh, there are three stages in this framework. Mm, the first stage would be the input stage. So uh, there's EFE, uh, CPM and uh, IFE metrics in this stage. The second stage is the matching stage. So we have sort metrics, space metrics, uh, BCG metrics, IE metrics and grand strategy metrics. So the third stage is the decision stage. Mm, we only have one matrix here which is the quantitative uh, strategic planning matrix or QSPM. So next uh, we are required to conduct a SWOT matrix. So we have to list down all of FedEx uh, external opportunities and threats first and their internal strength and weakness. Then we have to uh, develop four types of uh, strategies which are the SO, WO, ST and WT strategies. After that we are required to uh, give recommendations of the alternative strategies for FedEx based on the SWOT matrix. So this uh, on uh, my part so thank you. Very good morning. I am Saranda son of Matya S51364. Today I will be explaining about 4.2 QSPM which is called as a quantitative strategic planning matrix. QSPM is a high level strategic management approach for evaluating possible strategies. The QSPM method falls within so called stage 3 of the strategy formulation analytical framework. Okay, let me explain the table which I done before. Uh, there are Key factors, weight, expansion to new market which is uh, uh, got to which is attractiveness called as AS and total attractiveness TAS and restructure AS and TAS. Uh, so the key factors of uh, are opportunities. There are seven points under the uh, factor called opportunity. Inter international expand, expanding Chinese market, online shopping, using cooperative strategies, challenging competitors through merger and acquisition, growing potential customers, 
growing global transportation the second factor is threats and it's contain seven increasing thump transportation costs economic show, slowdown in china e substitution uh, current economic situation in u.s market vulnerable to increasing reach by major competition cost cutting in initiative green initiative make it costly to keep up with standards the third factor is strengths uh, diversified business operation strong information system networks strong market position brand equity technology infrastructure physical assets sustainable development and the last one is weakness over dependence in u.s market declining market share in sector cost of infrastructure in expanding international market decentralized operation delivery staff need training covering loss in financing and invest investing activities by profit in operating activity so for an example uh, let me start with the opportunity international expand the weight is 0.2 and the attractiveness is 4 and the total attractiveness total attractiveness is 0.8 so for the restructure there is no points uh, for the second one is expanding chinese market uh, the weight is 0.05 and the attractiveness of expansion to new market is 3 and the total attractiveness is 0.15 so this is the example of the table uh, doctor you can refer to the table for more information thank you so much